All right, so we're doing another video here. Um, it's been a couple of days. Um, we've had some interesting changes and things, the way we felt about stuff, uh, our plans and goals and stuff like that. Um, we're going to kind of go over some of those things. Um, we have a couple things come in package-wise, so we'll kind of go over that, um, pick a cent of the day, all that normal shit. So we had some pretty big changes uh, from a uh, work standpoint. Um, I had an interview today um with basically the lead director of customer experience and shit like that they basically make changes at work so i had an hour-long one-on-one meeting with them and they kind of talked to me about the job and like the everything like pretty much they were asking me like ballpark good questions on like things on like how i felt and my day-to-day -day life what i liked what i didn't like stuff like that uh, it's really nice to kind of be able to talk to somebody that high up at t-mobile about some of the stuff that you know I felt and things like that. And I don't know, it was just kind of nice. Um, you know, I've had a really interesting set of changes. So yesterday, um, you know, I was going up to Bass Pro to basically go and fill out my paperwork for my gun. Um, and I felt this intense negative uh, energy hit me. Uh, like, I don't know, I had this feeling before. Um, I think the last time I had it, I was with Jody and I told her, I was like, I can feel something bad is going to happen soon. And I told her that I felt like that was, I was like, I felt like something awful was about to happen. I just could feel it. Something bad was happening soon. Um, and yeah, I mean, something bad happened, but I mean, I don't know. Yesterday uh, I had that same feeling I was driving and I just felt this overwhelming, just sense of just like negativity, energy, I don't know if it was negative energy or what, but I could feel something bad was about to happen um, soon. I don't know what it is. I just was just like, and it overwhelmed me to the point where like, for me, I started literally like having like panic, almost like a mini panic attack as I was like walking into Bass Pro and I'm like talking myself through it. I'm like, fucking chill the fuck out, dude. Like relax. Like you need to relax, like breathe, breathe, breathe. And I'm sitting in there. And I don't know, man, I just got so overwhelmed with stuff. I don't know. It was just really weird, eerie, you know, negative feeling. And I don't know. I got to the point where I was just like, man, I got to like, I don't know. I was just talking myself through it the whole time. I was like, just fucking chill. I was like, dude, am I going to die? Like, am I like, am I going to pass out? Am I going to like, am I going to make a scene here in this place? But I don't know, man. I talked myself through it. I filled out all my stuff. Um, but anyways, like usually get waitlisted. Um, I did actually take a picture of my gun. So God. This thing is so sexy. Like the gun is Jesus Christ, man. I'm so excited uh, to actually get it. So I don't know if this even does it justice, but it doesn't. It doesn't do it justice at all because you see it like locked up. But anyways, got the Heckler and Coke uh, HK. Man, this gun is so cool looking. It's got like the glow in the dark sights and everything. The three. It's got the triple dots. I don't know. I'm excited about that, but I wasn't feeling too great like on the internal side. Um, I went home, um, you know, I finished out my shift at work. Um, I went ahead and I worked out a little bit. I went ahead and tried to work out even though I wasn't feeling so good anxiety wise. I again did not drink. I didn't smoke nothing. I went ahead and went home and I ate right. I did snack a little more than I should. Uh, but that also, I think I didn't have breakfast yesterday. So I think I didn't have the physical meal. So I snacked a little more on the end. Um, car window still fine. Um, you know, we had a little bit more, like I said, just the stress and anxiety of some negative feelings. So I had this like awakening. I was like, something bad was happening. I didn't feel very good. I was like, you know what? We need to do something uh, to change, you know, things around. You know, everything's going in a good direction. You know, financially, we're getting better. You know, physically, we're getting better. Mentally, we're not getting better. But I mean, whatever. Uh, spiritually, you know, it's, it's a mixed bag. But um, I don't know. Um, but basically, I don't know. I just, I was just like, you know what? I, I got also kind of really nervous and weirded out. I, I messaged RP about our overtime stuff and they were like, oh, we don't have anything yet. And then they ended up, I was like worried. I was like, oh my God, is the overtime going away or something? I thought it was going to be here for like a year straight, uh, is what I was, what I'd heard. So anyways, they didn't have anything yesterday. No emails at all about our overtime. So I was just like, I started like getting kind of worried a little bit because I planned on having my days off being, you know, days where I did overtime and just kind of really just dug in financially. I don't know, man. So I messaged RP today when I go in, they're like, no, nothing yet still. I was like, oh, okay. All right. And I was like, this is real. Like, we're really just not going to have overtime anymore. 
And they're like, oh, it's like I get two hours later, we get an email the next 10, 10 days we're doing it. So pretty much, yeah, there's no way the overtime's going away. So the $50 incentive, um, I made a decision um, to do this. Um, I went ahead and signed up. I'm going to be doing 10 hours of overtime every day that I'm off. Um, I already have six hours this week and I'm going to have 10 hours tomorrow. Um, I did miss 20 hours of pay on my check, but with that, I'm going to have, which was $400, I think. So, and I think with the overtime, 10 hours tomorrow, and I already have six, um, Hey Alexa, what's 16 times 32? 16 times 32 is 512. 512. So we're actually going to make back what we lost and pay plus an extra 100. So that's going to be nice. Um, with the incentive stuff, um, that's just the overtime pay. We're not including the incentive money. Um, but with the 10 hours every day, it equals out with, with the actual extra 20 for the calls taken. Um, I'm not going to really include bonus. With bonus, it would be basically... Um, like $90 an hour. Um, I'm just going to go with the 82, I think is what it's going to be. Uh, $82 with overtime incentive. I think it ends up being like fucking 95 or something dollars after bonus or something stupid. I'm not going to count in that cause I'm not going to consider bonusing into that. So we'll just assume it's about $85. So with a 10 hour shift, it's $850. I signed up for Saturday. I signed up for Sunday and I'm doing Wednesday. So I'm going to try to do this every week. I'm just going to try to work as much as I possibly can. Um, I've talked a lot about, um, you know, making sure that things are going to be settled in and making sure we can take care of our future. And um, I really don't like the idea of even working. I don't want like the idea of working. I don't want to work paycheck to paycheck at all. Um, you know, and and that get, the first step to that is really just making sure you have, you're getting out of debt and, uh, making sure that, you know, we can get this down. So, you know, like I said, I mean, with the, with the pace we're at, if we can, I mean, obviously I don't plan on continuing a streak of 30 hours over time a week. It's fucking insane. To be honest with you, I would be making essentially over if I don't bonus at all, I'm making like $3,400 a week or some stupid shit, $3,400 a week. If I bonus, that's going to be something like times 70, 70, 70. If I actually end up bonusing on top of that, that could be an extra, I think like 500 a week or something stupid. So it just, it, the money just starts accumulating. The more you work, the more you work. But I figure, you know, I'm in this point where I need to avoid a lot of stuff and I need to avoid social stuff and uh, work out, focus on my dieting and focus on all other stuff. So, you know, with some of the negative feelings I've had lately, I felt like I had to make a change to be able to kind of take a little bit more control. Now I did, uh, I do want to not lie. I did not drink. Uh, I thought heavily about drinking after work today. Uh, not because work was so bad. I just felt really, really the negative vibes kind of like been really weird. And I haven't been sleeping as much as I would like. Um, I've been sleeping basically like four hours, five, like five hours, four hours each night. And then working 10 hours, working out, doing all this stuff back to back to back. It really does kind of grind down on you a little bit. Um, I do see results from things, but it's hard to really, um, it's not hard to keep going, but it's hard to feel excited about it when you don't physically and mentally feel very good, um, you know, to kind of reciprocate those things. I don't even know if I'm using the right words. So I did buy cigarettes. I did smoke a cigarette today. One, I've smoked one cigarette. I probably will smoke two cigarettes tonight and it's not good. I don't think it's great, but I think it's much better that I didn't drink. Um, I really was considering doing that and I decided not to do that. I also decided not to eat out tonight. I was considering going by Chick-fil-A. I was considering getting some alcohol, some cigarettes and going to Chick-fil-A. Um, I decided not to do any of those things um, other than get the cigarettes. So it's still bad, but you know, on the overall scheme of things, we're taking it step by step. We are just a little overwhelmed and we really don't have anybody to really talk to about this. There's really nothing I have to say um, about any of it, even if I had people that I'd want to talk to. Obviously, I have friends that I can talk to, but there's nothing I want to complain about. There's nothing I want to talk about. I'm just not in that mood to do that. Um, in reality, I just need to face up to things, and that's that. You know, I want a good life for myself, and working is number one to that. Working out is number two to that. Eating right is number three to that. And just not drinking and ruining my life is number four to that. 
Um, there's a lot of other factors that go into it. I don't want to get into that. Let's go ahead and jump into something more positive. So let's go ahead and weigh ourselves. Let's kind of see where we're at. I'm kind of curious where I'm at. I have drank quite a bit of liquid and water today, and I did eat breakfast today. Um, but I haven't eaten a bunch, and you know, we'll see. Normal liquids, whatever. Um, we're also going to go ahead. We had a package come in, so we'll go ahead and check that out. And we'll do it. Go ahead and do our sum of the day. So, anyways, let's go ahead and check that out. Let's weigh ourselves first. Anyways, what am I doing? Um, So we'll see where we are. All right, so last time we weighed ourselves, I think we were 193. Um, I definitely hope I have not gained weight. That would be fucking insane. Anyways, here we go. 188. You saw it here first. Uh, 188. We're getting some results in already. Uh, we're working really hard. Uh, we're dieting right. Uh, and then again, I mean, I don't think that, I think that was my natural weight anyways from the other day. So I don't want to be like too much. Um, I just wanted to not sound like a bullshitter. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, um, we got our package here. And we're going to kind of talk about the money thing, what our goals are with money, how we're planning on things out. Because we've had a lot of, we've had a couple of my friends come to me um, about some stuff and some ideas and things like that. And I don't really know if I want to go over them on here, but maybe... Um, I have a knife usually. Where the fuck is my knife? I have one knife in my car. Oh, man. Where the fuck? One second. Um, I swear it all I can do. Stuck too much on that. We have this super piece of shit knife. Actually, coming to the rescue a little bit. This is the shittiest knife I've ever seen, by the way. Somebody, homeless person, left it here. But, anyways, coming through. So, this is a package from Macy's. I'm pretty sure this is the Zaro Wanted. And maybe even our sweet new headphones. So, we'll see how that is. Um, but, yeah, let's check it out. So. God, this knife is so garbage. It's like, it's literally hurting me on the inside usually. Um, yeah. Okay. What do you even do with this? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, um, we have like a whole bunch of extra shit here. Um, that's not right there. All right, so I got two packages. Out. So we got this, we got this. I'm going to guess one of these things is the gear that I don't need or want, really. Wow. The package is actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of a premium little package. Rosaro Parfums. All right. Anyways, we're not going to get stuck too much on the earbuds, but let's check them out at least. All right. It's not too bad. The packaging is actually not bad. Kind of cool, actually. What? You see this shit? Where the fuck? Are they like missing? What? Where? Are... Like what? Did they really send me a fucking package with the earbuds not even in the thing? Oh my god. I think they may have. Look at this. They sent me a charger. Fucking ear things. And the earbuds themselves are like, they're gone. They're not even in here. Is this like real life? Like, what? What? That can't be real. Like, what? There's no way. I, is this a real? I've got to be like tired. Not here. Charger. Ear pieces. The actual earbuds are gone. What? I'm so confused. Like, this is like the most ghetto thing I've ever experienced, maybe. I didn't even want these things. 
But I am like shocked that they would mail me this with like nothing in it. <laughs> Completely gone. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's insane. That's so weird, man. I don't know. I guess somebody must have jacked them. Like, I guess you wanted them. I don't know why you'd steal them, but I mean, whatever, dude. Wow, that's so funny. All right, are you going in the trash? Um, yeah, that's one of the more random things I've ever had happen. So, I don't know. Are you going in the trash? Um, yeah. All right. Anyways. Let's get to the real thing we're looking for. I really didn't want those to so maybe a blessing in disguise. You know, I just get to throw them in the trash. I don't have to have the burden of letting them sit here and waste my space and I have to give them away. Thought maybe they'd be in here. No, they're not. So anyways, check it out. We got a Zaro. Uh, does this say the most wanted on here? Oh, it does. A Zaro, the most wanted. And this is a Eau de Parfum Intense. Um, I don't know what intense, I mean, intense, whatever, but what a parfum. Parfum is a concentrate, it's really nice. Um, so I didn't say, what's the other concentrate you do? Extrate usually is what they call it. This one, I guess they want to call it intense. It's a better word, I guess, for some product like this. Anyway, it's got the box, pretty cool presentation. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. These bottles are always so cool. So excited about the bottle. Uh, check it out. Zaro. So you got the bottle. You have the whole like fucking gun thing. How do you do this? Boom, pop it out. All right. I always like facing the front. So we'll check this out. Oh, man. All right. That is fucking. That's fucking good. Ooh, shit. I'm about to sneeze. Oh man, all right. This is like, this is pretty good, but what the hell is this? I don't know, man. That's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, that's I don't know what to do. That's definitely good. It's definitely a fall winter scent. Um, it's a little less spicy than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little more spicy, but that's kind of a good thing maybe. Um, I don't even know what to give this. It's definitely good. It's definitely nice. Um, I don't even know what the hell. I don't have anything that smells like this really. I would give this. Man, I always give out scores like eight. I don't really know. I don't know what to give this. Like, I give it like an 8.2. Pretty good. Um, definitely a nice fall winter scent. It's nothing like, it's not like the craziest thing I've ever smelled or anything like that. I definitely have better winter and fall scents, but this can be nice just to like throw on, you know what I mean? Just like, hey, rock it out. So we'll give it us a wearing. Um, like I said, some of the stuff we just got the opening. So Anyways, Azaro Wanted by Night. Got the crazy little bottle. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the box here. No need. Fuck the box. Fuck the box. Um, yeah, we're going to put this up. I have like, no space left. Anyways, I'm going to have to get rid of some different things, make some space and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to kind of talk through um, some of the money stuff, uh, different things. So we are back in good standing. Um, work is going really good. Um, you know, the dieting has been going really good Been snacking a little bit. We've been watching some shows. We've got to start watching squid games. We've been watching Seinfeld on Netflix. They remastered it in 4k I've really been enjoying that. Um, what else? Like I said, with the money thing, I mean, the goal really is just try to do as much overtime as physically possible. I really want to be able to get my checks and pay everything and then fucking, you know, basically put some money away. And just keep doing this. And we want to be able to pay off and be completely out of debt. Um, I'd love to be able to get completely out of debt 
and then have my tax return and just be done with everything and start from that point, just building and building and building. Because I mean, imagine if I could go to work fucking, I mean, even 20 hours a week on overtime, um, if we still have it, imagine being out of debt, having no debt, right? And then imagine your bills are like fucking like a thousand dollars or low thousand and you're making like three grand a week or two grand a week, um, just in, you know, extra money, um, you know, or whatever, right? Obviously three grand a week extra, you could, I could do it, but I don't think I'd be killing myself. Um, but like I said, just imagine making that much. It's just something where you can start putting it away towards retirement. I mean, the more money I make, I think I already talked about this in the other video, the more money is going into my retirement, the more money going into my stock, the more money going into my Roth, the more money, the more debt's going down, um, the more we're just building for our future and we're making sure we have security. I mean, nothing in here is guaranteed. So we just got to make sure we keep grinding. Um, you know, I felt um, in terms of like the mental stuff, you know what I mean? The negativity and all that, uh, there's that, um, you know, obviously, you know, um, we're still fresh out of stuff with, you know, Jody and, you know, we've just been trying our best to just uh, try to keep a mind state that's focused on, you know, improving myself and improving my, you know, my mentality and being strong. And just like I said, not try not to think about those things um, just because at the end of the day, um, you know, yeah, I'm going to miss Jody. Yes, I love Jody, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not helping me to just think about that all day and night. Um, you know what I mean? It doesn't help me any, um, you know, and that's something that, you know, it is what it is for right now. And so, um, I don't know, man, like I said, we're just, we're just trying to do our best with what we opportunities we have for right now. Um, I did end up, uh, when I was coming back home, I did end up seeing our neighbor, uh, which was super, you know, awkward, of course, you know, glad, glad I got to experience that too today. Uh, didn't talk to him, just did my own thing, stuck my head in my phone, just did my own shit. Um, just don't even want to deal with any of it. Um, you know, uh, we're not having the best time of things, but I am so proud of myself for not drinking. I'm so proud of myself for sticking to my diet. I'm so proud of myself for being able to make the hard choices. It would be so easy to just sleep in tomorrow and just wake up and eat whatever I want and have some coffee and play some games and play some chess and go work out and just, you know, go shopping and do all kinds of stuff but we're not going to do that. We're going to wake up. We're going to drink some coffee. We're going to eat our breakfast. We're going to go into work and we're going to work hard and we're going to have a great day of work and we're going to add on to things. And, you know, every day that I go in and I make a sacrifice is a step closer to getting the things that we want to get. Um, you know, there's not many jobs that you can on your day off of work, you can make an extra like almost thousand dollars. And so I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not, you know, sucking dick or stripping or doing any sketchy shit. I'm not killing people or selling drugs. I'm legitimately making this much money and it's nice. It's uh, it's just nice. It's going to help out towards our security with stuff. This video is not going to be super long. Um, I really have kind of talked about all the main points. I hate this knife by the way. Um, I'm going to stop playing with it because I don't want to make it feel like I'm endorsing it. Um, I'm going to clean this up for tonight. Um, we're going to eat uh, rice, we're going to eat our last chicken breast, and then we are going to, I don't even know, man, uh, rice, chicken breast uh, with tzatziki, uh, we'll probably snack. I do like that, it's actually getting a little better, actually. Um, I'm still going to keep the same score. Um, but yeah, we're going to snack a little bit, we got some pretzels and we got some hummus, so we're snacking on that a little bit. We're going to make sure we drink some water, we're going to take some vitamins. And we're just going to try to do the best we can. Um, once we get our gun in, we're going to show you guys that. I'm super excited about that. We have another scent coming in um, that I'm excited about as well. Um, again, I think I already talked about it. Lumel, Le Parfum. Um, going to be nice. So I don't think that one's coming in until next week, end of next week, if I had to guess. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I don't think there's going to be too much interesting stuff going on in terms of these videos. We just got to, like I said, just make sure we keep our mind state you know, stable and, you know, don't get too far ahead of ourselves, you know, keep things day to day, just focus on being the best that we can be. Um, we have looked into, on the mental side of things, you know, we have been studying some psychology. So we've been looking at overt narcissism versus covert narcissism, codependency, um, 
what was the other thing? There was some other thing I was doing. Um, we were just researching some of those things. And so looking into it, um, just kind of looking at the patterns of behavior, personality types, a type personalities, things like that. Uh, and just kind of, like I said, trying to study and look at the patterns and similarities between our own personality and our own decision making um, to try to figure out what we can do to maybe improve ourselves and make sure that we're being more positive with things. Um, you know, um, I do like to think that, I, you know, I don't want to say I like to think I've been much more positive, but there were a couple of times where I really um, had real uh, negative emotion rise up for me. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was, uh, I think, one of my calls earlier today. I ended up kind of like just getting really upset um, with it. I don't know what it was, but I need to control that thing a little better and not let the emotions get too much control of me and feel like I'm in the driver's seat and I can handle really anything that comes my way. I've done a thousand of these calls, a million of these calls at this point. I should be able to maintain my composure a little better. Uh, just make sure, like I said, that I'm being positive and you know, trying to learn things about myself, try to get better every day. Um, you know, this one's not as hype and is not as exciting as some of the other stuff videos, but uh, we want to make sure we hop on here and keep things completely real and be honest. Um, life is not the easiest right now, but it is getting better and we're getting better every day. So we just got to keep this going. Um, you know, we're going to wait till we get our next, um, not our next paycheck, but maybe the one after that, I think with the bonus and that we'll have extra overtime bonus and some incentive on it. And I think at that point, we're going to go ahead and schedule our doctors or not our doctor's visit, but our, um, dentist visit. So we can start getting the process going. And I have, you know, I can just go ahead and pay everything up front and get everything knocked out. I'm really excited to get into getting my teeth straightened. Uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was younger, you know, it's just about handling, uh, making sure my health is better, you know, making sure that we improve uh, ourselves, not only health wise, but looks wise, it's going to help our confidence and help, um, you know, just better things overall, you know. Um, anyways, I'm just really tired. Um, I don't mean to make this one kind of a downer video. I don't want it to be that. Um, you know, there are good things. And like I said, I mean, I've I pretty much just woke up. I worked all day long and pretty much I've just worked nonstop. I really have had no time to do anything fun so far today. So um, I don't want to make it sound like that. I just really haven't had any time to de-stress. And right now it's about nine o'clock at night. So I think we're on day six. I think, yeah, we got to be on day six right now. I'm going to be posting this one before midnight. So uh, we're just going to stay on day six. Tomorrow will be day seven. So um, anyways, I don't think there's really anything left I have to talk about. Um, I don't know, man, just, uh, I'm just going to eat, relax, um, and kind of do my thing. Um, I look forward to having a good week in overtime and having some good news on here. Um, we'll see how things go. Um, just got to drink some water. We're going to pray tonight. We're going to watch some videos. We're going to de-stress. Like I said, we get to sleep in a little bit because we are starting, we're doing a 10 hour shift tomorrow, but we're not starting till. Uh, 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. We normally come into work at nine. So we will have a little bit of extra sleep. Just got to make sure we don't get too irresponsible and stay up way too late um, and not let our negative emotions, not let the negative things and not let thoughts consume ourselves. Got to make sure that we stay focused on what we're doing um, and try not to think too much, let our mind wander because that's really where we get ourselves into trouble. Um, but yeah, uh, I just hope the negative things pass. I hope nothing negative has happened. And, you know, for me, maybe that wall was, maybe it was just, I don't know, maybe it was just a feeling, but who knows. But anyways, um, let's have some po overwhelming positive emotions roll over me randomly. I'd like that. That'd be really cool. Um, I actually like that a lot more now. I like that better once it dries down. So super nice. I'm actually super excited about getting this next cologne in. And then, um, Yeah. Um, in terms of stuff, uh, I'm going to talk more about uh, some of the future plan things um, when we get to tax time, what we've thought about the living situation, what I've thought about vacation, uh, taking a vacation or a trip sometime, um, you know, kind of getting a distress thing, saving up some PTO, um, thought about like the living situation, what our goals are, what our plans are, what we plan on doing. Um, you know, where we're really at with everything. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to go over. I don't really want to go over them right now. Um, but we'll kind of talk about those things. We're going to see how these work weeks are going. Um, if I can handle the 10, 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours and all my days off, 
Uh, maybe I'll start adding on to it and getting even more in depth into the work. I mean, if I'm just going to really throw myself in, um, you know, maybe we can even add an extra hour or two on my days I work. Again, I'm sure this is the recipe for burnout, but who knows? Maybe we'll be able to just get our sleep on track and be able to handle it really well and be able to add on even more. I mean, if I can do 30 hours, imagine if I can do two hours extra on my days. I don't really want to commit to that. So maybe I can do another four hours in the weekdays, get it us up to 34 hours. So let's see. Um, hey, Alexa, what's 34 times 85? 34 times 85 is 2,890. 2,890. So that's 3,000. That's really not what we're aiming for. We're really going to aim to try to just keep doing 10 hours on the weekends. Um, and then Wednesday, you know, if we're feeling burnt out. We're going to do like six hours or something like that. Now, I can't do this forever. There are some uh, fights towards the end of the month that we're definitely prioritizing. Um, the UFC fight at the end of the month. I'm definitely not going to be working into the night for that. So maybe I'll wake up earlier. I'm really excited because we have the one UFC event. And then a week later, for the first time ever, we have another UFC pay-per-view. One week, back-to-back -back weekends. So I'll do that. And I'm going to go and get some wings and celebrate. It's something that I've... Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, I'm going to try to do the wing thing. I'll see how I feel emotionally about it. Just because, uh, I mean, there's reasons. It's a tradition kind of thing um, that I've been doing. Um, you know... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get too much into it, but uh, we'll see how I feel emotionally about that. Um, I don't want to, like I said, you know, bring things on myself intentionally or on purpose. So we'll see how I handle stuff. Um, we'll see how things go. Like I said, the goal, um, just get better, get better, feel better, um, try to look better, try to do better. Um, we have a lot of work ahead of us. And um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't really have much else to add. Anyways, if you can uh, send me some positive vibes. I really would appreciate it. Like I said, um, I really uh, do feel the emotions, you know, the positive energy when people send it my way. Um, you know, things are tough. Um, you know, they're they're not easy, um, but we're tough. We're getting tougher. We're learning how to, you know, be better. You know, just be better. Um, outside that, love you all. Thank you again if you watch this. I'm going to sit here and think if there's anything else I missed. We got the scent. We work, work out, gun. Blah, 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 shit. Um, I can't really think of anything else right now. Things are pretty straightforward for the most part with what I went over already. Um, other than that, um, like I said, it's time to relax a little bit. Hopefully we feel better tonight. Um, anyways, wish me luck on my overtime shift tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll do a video tomorrow. We'll see how we feel, uh, like always, but uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, love you all. Thank you if you watched this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm.